Assalamu alaikum. Today I wanted to talk about tawakkul. The word tawakkul means putting your trust in Allah. And there are two extremes of tawakkul. One of them is depending on Allah so much that you sit back and relax and imagine that Allah will sort things out without you lifting a finger to help yourself. Another is depending on yourself and your own effort so much that you stop depending on Allah. Obviously, both attitudes are very unhealthy and certainly not the right course. Let us look at each of these and then on what the correct attitude should be. The first attitude is leaving your camel untied. This sort of attitude is very dangerous. It is like assuming that Allah is our servant instead of us being Allah's servants. It might also lead to weakening of faith once we realize that nothing's going to get better without our effort. Some people even question the power of Allah when things don't happen their way. They ask questions like, why can't Allah make my life easier? But the right question is, why will Allah help us? if we even don't help ourselves. Allah has said in the Qur'an, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِقَوْمٍ حَتَّى يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِأَنفُسِهِمْ Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves. In a famous hadith on tawakkul, a man asked the Prophet wasallam, O Messenger of Allah, should I tie my camel and trust in Allah? Or should I untie her and trust in Allah? The Messenger of Allah said, tie her and trust in Allah. So tie your camel first. The second attitude is tying your camel so hard it suffocates. This attitude is as dangerous as the first one, although we often don't even realize that we have it. We become so engrossed in fixing our situation and doing everything right that we totally forget the other aspect. The fact that no matter how hard we try, we are not in control of the outcome. Allah is the one in control of the whole universe. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all that is between them, and He is able to do all things. No matter how hard we work, we can never bring a desired outcome unless Allah wills it. That is why Allah's Messenger told us to tie our camels and then put trust in Allah regarding the outcome. Because even if the outcome is not what we desired, there is good in it for us. And when we accomplish something good, as Muslims, we don't brag and say, yeah, I succeeded because of my efforts and my hard work. Instead, we say, Alhamdulillah, because despite our efforts, there were a million things that could have gone wrong, which Allah took care of. And ultimately, it is He who made it happen, not us. The right attitude is that of the birds. The Prophet said, if you were to rely on Allah as He should be relied on, He would provide for you as He provides for the birds. They go out early in the morning hungry and return in the evening full. The point to know this is this. They go out early in the morning. They don't sit in their nests and chirp happily, Allah will feed us. No, they wake up at the crack of dawn and leave their nests and their eggs and babies to the care of Allah and fly and fly in search of food. So Allah provides them with food for themselves and the babies that they left behind. They return home with the food at dusk and glorify Allah. Allah will take care of all of our affairs if we can just be like birds. If we can just jump off the cliff knowing that Allah will make us fly. Allah and Allah knows best.